Dr. Ragusea, before we went to break, you were telling us how at some point in everyone's life, it is something that they consider suicide. That's right, but luckily most of us don't do it. Right. Okay? There have been lots of famous suicides. You know, mm -hmm. um, uh, George Eastman committed suicide. He's the guy who developed Eastman Kodak. Um, Adolf Hitler killed himself. He was mm -hmm. having a very bad day. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, Kurt Cobain mm -hmm. killed himself. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe killed herself. The first three killed themselves with guns. Marilyn Monroe killed herself with pills. Mm -hmm. And um, those tend to be some of the more, most common ways of committing suicide. When guns are available, they tend to be the way that people choose to kill themselves. And they are, of course, the most lethal so they're most likely to achieve successful suicide. Mm -hmm. When you look at, by the way, when you look at the distribution of suicides between men and women, it's what's called a bimodal distribution, meaning it's like the humps on a camel. Um, it, on one side, you've got women who make more attempts than men. And then on the other side, you've got men who make fewer attempts but are far more successful. Mm -hmm. So m when men decide they want to die, they make sure they're going to die. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and um, so lots of people have killed themselves that are famous. Lots of people. There was a country western singer who just killed herself a few weeks ago, um, and uh, and lots of people uh, think about it. Virtually all of us think about it at some time, and there are warning signs we should look at. Yeah, what are some of those warning signs? Okay, I made a list. Um, for example, when somebody talks about suicide. Don't assume that it's manipulation. Take it very seriously. Call, call the police. Take them to a doctor. Take them to a hospital. Do whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. but, but, then, but then the responsibility is theirs right. to use it's, the help they're given. It's not your responsibility. That's though. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Being preoccupied with death and dying. Somebody's talking about dying all the time. Mm -hmm. That's a warning sign. Take it seriously. When people withdraw from friends, friends and activity, that's typically a sign of depression and that people are letting go of being alive. Mm -hmm. okay? So that's another warning sign. Not always leading to suicide, but sometimes. Anytime you see drastic changes in behavior of any kind, that's a warning sign. Loss of interest in all the normal things that people normally enjoy, like hobbies, dancing, music, stuff like that. If all of a sudden they don't care about stuff like that, that's a sign of depression, and potentially it's a sign of, again, withdrawing from life. Um, prefer preparing for death by making out a will. Okay? Now, everybody ought to make out a will. Okay, but if everybody's having a good time while they're doing it and talk about how they'll be leaving this to this person, this person, 50 years from now, that's fine. But if somebody unexpectedly decides, I need to make out a will, that's a warning sign. Mm -hmm. um, another big one is giving away prized possessions. Okay, you know, Gina, uh, um, uh, Jen, I know you've already always loved this tie. I, I want to give this to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to give you my dog. That's a big one. There's, there are people in the world who only love their dog or only love their cat. And when they, for no reason, give their dog or cat to somebody else, mm -hmm. that's a real serious warning sign. Um, people who start engaging in reckless behavior, that's a warning sign. And that's, a, again, a way a lot of people commit suicide when it's not counted as suicide. People will drive up Highway 1 at 100 miles an hour. Oops, they crashed into a bridge abutment. It was an accident. Really? Right. <laughs> you know? um, when people increasingly use drugs and alcohol not to have a good time, but to feel better, okay? that's a warning sign. Um, and especially when they do it while expressing a sense of hopelessness. Remember, people tend to commit suicide because they feel trapped, there's no hope, there's no place to go. When, when people get like this, they sort of see their whole lives as a black vortex mm -hmm. spinning out of control in front of them, and they're being sucked down into this blackness. Mm -hmm. And everything they can remember in their past is bad. Mm -hmm. Everything they can think of that might happen in the future is bad. And they feel like they've got to die, they've got no other choice. Mm -hmm. When people talk like that, you ought to take it seriously. Um, 
here's another thing. Having a history of violence or hostility in the family. When somebody kills themselves and they have children, the odds that their children will commit suicide goes up by about 50%. Really? Yeah. That, that is true. That's right. Okay. And if your grandmother committed suicide, the odds of you committing suicide over the normal po population goes up. Interesting. The fact that my aunt committed suicide makes mm -hmm. it more likely that I'll commit suicide because it makes it socially normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's part of what we leave to our children and grandchildren. It's a, a reason why we thing. shouldn't commit suicide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A scary thing. Well, we're running out of time. Again, we have to take a quick break, but we're going to talk more before the end of the show about suicide prevention. Stay with us.